observation is where a colleague um, will come and watch you teach or you will go and um, watch uh, them teach. Um, that's the usual context for peer observation. Yeah. Well, I think you can get quite a lot out of a peer observation because you can, um, if you go and see someone else teach, um, you can get perspectives on teaching um, which may be new to you. Um, now, it's normally seen the other way around. That is that you will go and you'll see somebody teach and you'll be able to give them feedback. But the reality is, is that actually often the observer learns a lot more than the observee. Um, but to my mind, observation is an opportunity for you to ask someone to come and see you teach. You could focus on a particular aspect of your practice. It could be um, how you manage the group. It could be your questioning technique. Um, it could be many things, but it, it's up to you. You can get some really thoughtful comments um, from colleagues in terms of what um, they observed, first of all, almost holding a mirror up to you, um, and maybe sometimes what they thought of what they observed too. So um, it provides an opportunity for some reflection um, for yourself, both as observer or observee, um, and, and most importantly, if you're able to sit down at the end of it, which would be key to the process, I think, um, you're able to really just get involved in some useful conversations around teaching and learning, and that's really important. Preparing for a peer observation, well if you're the observer you'd really want to know you know, what the context is for that particular session. Um, is it a lecture? Is it a seminar? Is it lab? Is it studio? I mean obviously if you're with a peer they'll have some knowledge of the range of your teaching contexts. But you want to find out you know, what the subject is that they're teaching, um, what it is they hope the students will learn from that. Because any feedback or any discussion that you might have with them needs to be set in that context. You need to be able to have a, a discussion around um, whatever it is that person has asked you to look at, for example, if that's what they've done. Um, and uh, going on to that, as an observee, well, you know, preparing for it, I would say don't do anything special necessarily unless you're trying something new and you specifically want feedback on that. Maybe that you're... Um, Maybe you've produced a new resource or um, you're trying out something new with your PowerPoint, whatever it might be, or you're, you're trying something new in, in terms of how you arrange the groups or the room, and you want feedback on that, then yes, that's fine. But uh, it all depends, you know, you've got to get from that um, fairly short-lived event what it is you want out of it as an observee. But observers really need to know what's the context here, who are they teaching, what do they want their students to learn? My question would be, the next time you observe somebody, um, have a think. What does their practice with their students on that particular day, at that particular time, say about their own um, personal philosophy around teaching in higher education. What does it surface? What is their ideology? What, what is it all for? What can you tell from what you see? <laughs>